There's nothing better than making so many great memories and having a load of fun on your RV trip. However, before putting your RV away, you want to thoroughly clean and disinfect the exterior and interior to keep your RV in tip-top shape for the next adventure. The sooner you clean your RV after a road trip, the better. Don't let road grime or dead bugs cake and bake on or in your home on wheels. Not only will this help your RV retain its resale value, but cleaning also extends its life and keeps your RV fresh and ready for more memorable adventures. Plus, post-trip RV cleaning allows you to see any damage and catch potential issues before they become problems. Detailing the interior and exterior of your RV is well worth the effort. For RV cleaning, you have a couple options. You can save time by outsourcing this to professionals or save money by doing it yourself. If saving time is important to you, then I recommend scheduling an RV spa appointment with your nearest Camping World Service Center. Our trained service professionals can wash, wax, remove oxidation, and completely clean your RV interior, including your carpets, so your RV can be so fresh and so clean. If you want to go with the money-saving option, then let's talk about RV detailing. The biggest question I hear from RVers is, what do I use to clean my RV? Around the campground and online, you'll get many well-meaning opinions to this question. However, the answer is always this. Use the manufacturer recommended products and guidelines. So the first step to cleaning your RV is to actually read your RV's instruction manual to find out the cleaners compatible with your specific RV components. You can also find specific cleaning information on the RV manufacturer website. While your RV is durable, its construction materials are susceptible to different chemical properties. This is why using the proper cleaning supplies and techniques is essential to avoid damaging your RV surfaces. Just because the appearance and consistency closely match between two cleaning products does not necessarily mean their chemical properties are interchangeable and compatible with the area you want to apply it to. Protect your investment and use the recommended cleaners designed for your specific RV components. Another popular question I get is, can I use a pressure washer on my RV? And the answer is possibly. Pressure washers can potentially damage your RV. High pressure washing can ruin the sidewall gaskets, seals, paint finish, gel coat, or vinyl decals, and can even dent aluminum sidewalls. With these risks in mind, when using any hose with a sprayer attachment, only use a low pressure setting and maintain a safe distance to reduce possibility for damage and leaks. Always wash from the top down and avoid spraying water into the appliance vents. The next thing is to make sure you don't miss anything while cleaning and disinfecting your RV. Use this post-trip RV cleaning checklist after every road trip. If you haven't already, dump and flush your holding tanks. After emptying the black tank, if your RV is equipped with one, use your RV's black tank flush system or use an RV toilet wand. Also consider using a tank sensor cleaner to remove unseen residue buildup on the inside of your black tank. Keeping your black and gray water tanks clean will keep your tank sensors working well and also help minimize odors. If you've been stowing your sewage hoses properly, the sewage hose storage area should be clean. It is a good idea, however, to verify this area is clean and free of bio buildup just in case. Empty and clean your potable freshwater tank. This is essential. You don't want bacteria to build up inside your freshwater tank. Be sure to wash the exterior. We're talking roof, sidewalls, awnings, slide toppers, and windows. As you clean, pay close attention for any uncovered damage to seals and fabrics. Also, take note of any soot around the exterior appliance vents for the furnace and the water heater. To avoid mildew, allow awnings and toppers to dry completely before rolling up. Give your RV tires and rims some TLC and, if needed, some conditioning. Use tire covers for protection from the elements when the RV is stationary. If your propane tanks are not enclosed in an RV compartment or propane cover, then wash the road grime off these as well so you can see if protective repainting is needed. If this is your first road trip of the season, consider waxing or polishing your RV exterior. Let's move on to your RV interior and appliances. Cleaning and disinfecting go hand in hand. Cleaning removes germs, dirt, grease, and grime, 
while disinfecting kills germs. I recommend following CDC recommendations to properly disinfect surfaces. For hard surfaces, clean the dirty surface before disinfecting with the CDC-approved EPA-registered disinfectant. For soft, porous materials, vacuum visible debris and launder using a CDC-approved EPA-registered disinfectant on the hottest water setting available per the fabric care instructions. Let everything breathe. Open windows and vents to air out your RV while cleaning. I recommend opening closets and cupboard doors as well. Save time by cleaning from the top down so you can sweep up anything that falls. You'll want to dust or vacuum vents and exhaust fans in the kitchen, bathrooms, and bedrooms, including AC and heater vents. Make sure you're not leaving food or fluids behind to attract critters or other pests. Spot clean splash zone areas, uh, upholstery, window coverings, walls, and ceilings. Yes, even ceilings. You'll want to check the ceiling and crevices for cobwebs and bugs, and this is especially important if you have a toy hauler or an RV with higher ceilings. I also recommend leaving window shades open to mitigate moisture accumulation and mold. Remember to unpack the refrigerator, pantry, and anywhere else you stored food items. Clean the inside and outside of the refrigerator, stovetop, oven, and microwave. You'll also want to thoroughly clean any kitchenware you plan to keep inside your RV. Wipe down the countertops, tables, kitchen backsplash area, and pantry. If you have a motorhome, you'll want to clean the cup holder area, steering wheel, vents, and dashboard. Where applicable, consider applying a vinyl or leather protectant. You'll want to clean showers and sinks, especially clean the drains and also any condensation on the visible water pipes under the counter space. Make sure to remove soap and shower product residue. Please don't give it a chance to cake and bake on. You'll want to clean the toilets, both inside and around the outside, getting behind it as well to remove any condensation buildup. Clean any outdoor furniture, mats, or grills to prevent mold and rust from developing. Clean out trash cans and trash collection areas. I recommend using dehumidifiers to remove moisture as everything you can do to keep your RV dry certainly helps. You can also control odor by using a deodorizer, baking powder, or eco-friendly charcoal packets to absorb odors. Baking powder will also kill bugs who mistakenly consume it. Launder any linens you plan to keep inside your RV. Clean the mattresses and underneath the beds, including pull-out beds. This prevents bed bugs and dust mites from feeding on human fluids and skin cells that are naturally left behind. Ew. Lastly, vacuum crumb catching areas, couches, seat cushions, floors, and carpets will all need to be vacuumed. I'll leave you with one last bonus tip. I personally highly encourage teaching your family that RV cleaning is part of the trip. Include everyone in your post-trip cleanup and amp it up with competitive fun. Just simply divide this checklist into manageable assignments for each family member. If your kids are anything like mine, I also recommend awarding points for cleaning quality instead of speed. I hope that you found this cleaning checklist helpful. Thanks for watching folks, I'm Ian Baker, and stick around for more amazing videos here at the Land, Water, and RV Show.